Hello, welcome to lesson 25, Structs in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is structure in C Sharp. Right now, we will jump into the slide where it is explained. Structs in C Sharp. Structures are similar like classes and just like classes, they can have private fields, public properties, constructors and methods. Right now, we will jump into Visual Studio and explore each of them. This is the console template which I have created. The project name is Structs Basic Demo. Right now, we will explore what is structure. Now, what I will do is first, how do we create a class? It's very simple. We will use public modifier, access modifier, then class keyword, then I will name the class as customer or employee. I will name a class as employee. This is how we will create a class. Similarly, class can have members like properties, fields, methods, etc. Then how do we create a struct? Struct, it's very simple. Instead of class, just need rename it as struct. This is how, sorry. This is how you will create a structure in C Sharp. It is similar like class and as class contains as class contains private fields, public properties, constructors and methods, similarly structures also can contain the following that is private fields, public properties, constructors and methods. Now we will jump back into Visual Studio and we will create each of them. Now we will create two fields in the class employee, in the, struct, in the structure employee. How do I create a field? I will make my fields as private, then I will create an integer. then I'll create name I'll use underscore to just differentiate now you can observe as class can contain fields structure is also having fields in it similarly now what I'll do I'll create a properties to encapsulate these fields now how do I create properties to encapsulate these fields it's very simple public int id first I have to set it set how do I set it it's very simple set uh, this dot when I use this dot you can observe I'm getting id this dot id is equal to the value now once I'm done with the set I have to use get accessor also how do I get it return this dot ID this is how we'll use get and set accessors to encapsulate the field ID now instead of typing this entire thing instead of creating the entire property by our hands we can use Visual Studio options to do that work it's very simple right click on it or uh, what I have to do is I have to use refactor but I am not able to find it here what we'll do is we'll do by and itself similarly how I did for ID I'll do it for name also how do I create a property for name public it's a string type and I'll name it as name then I'll first I'll set that the setting set accessor then this dot name equals otherwise I'll I have to name it as value sorry now once I'm done with this then I have to use get return this dot name this is how you lose properties that is ID property and name property to encapsulate this field similarly class can also do this and struct also enables to do this within it now as we saw we created the fields and we created the properties now let's go and create the constructor also how do I create the constructor constructor will be having the access modifier and the constructor name should be same as the class name so I'll use employee now once I'm done with this 
I'll pass parameters here since it is ID and another parameter it is taking as name what I have to do is this dot ID equals this ID okay similarly I have to go with the name this dot underscore name is equal to name of this this is how I'll create a constructor and I'll initialize values for these fields using constructor what we are doing we are initializing the values for these fields this constructor is going to initialize values for these fields that's the use of constructor and as we created the fields properties and constructor and we are left with the method how do I create a method it's very simple public void and print details now I have to print ID first okay how do I create ID and I have to I have to what I have to do sorry I have to print within that string itself okay then I or the other thing left us name in a me name I have to print the name also the name then now I have to pass ID to it sorry this I have to pass this this dot ID okay once I'm done with this the second thing I have to pass is this dot underscore name okay now I am done with this program now we'll jump back into presentation we'll just glance what structures see structure similar structure similar like classes and just like classes they can have private fields public properties constructors and methods and we are done with this now as we saw private fields public properties constructors and methods in a sample program also we just created all the fields that is all the members that is one is fields the other two are properties and the other one is constructor and other one is the method now you can observe this is a structure similarly when I go and rename it to class this works fine okay what I'm trying to tell you is structures are similar like classes that's it now what I'll do I'll just go back and I'll create an instance of the structure employee how do I create it's very simple it's very simple how do we create an instance of an object similar way we have to create an instance of an struct also new employee you can observe it is having it's overridden it's having two variations in it one is the empty that is default constructor the other one is the cons parameter is constructor it is taking ID and name first we'll go with this I'll pass ID as 101 and the name as Anchor Technologies okay this is how I initialize the values using the default uh, using the parameters constructor now I'll just use that reference variable to call that print details method which will print the details on the console now when I run this program you can observe it prints the name and ID on the console screen the build has started let's wait for that and it's been succeeded yes you can observe the ID and name okay some issues with the placeholder I'll just clear it okay we'll come back and we'll do this done now when I run this program you can observe okay 
ID is 101 and the name is Anchor Technologies. Now what I'll do is just use the colon operator to just differentiate it very clearly. Now when I go and run this, you can observe the ID is 101 and the name is Anchor Technologies. Similarly, what I'll do is I'll use the default one. What I'll do is I'll create employee class first. Employee E1 is equal to new employee. Now when I go and uh, print this, that is E1 dot print details. Now when I run this program you can observe it prints ID and name and for the second one second employee it's not pr uh, printing the name and ID why because we are not initialized the values here using this object that is object reference variable we have to initialize values which will be coming from the default construct which will be coming from the properties we have to set the values for these properties now how do I set it it's very simple we'll come back here e1 dot ID now if I set it to 1 or 2 then again even dot name and I'll set to ank pro training now when I go and run this it prints the values for that as I assigned it's been scanned let's wait for that okay it's been done yep you can observe ID is 101 which is coming from the parameters constructor and this is the default constructor where I've explicitly assigned the values and I've called it and this is the pain because every time we have to go and use, use this variable to initialize the objects and we'll have to call the respective field then assign the value instead of that what we can do is employee e is equal to new employee I have to use like uh, ID is equal to 101 comma and name equals ank pro connect Pro connect event. Now you can observe whatever the code we write uh, is reduced using this part, using this this type. This this we call as object initializer. Using object initializer, we in, we can independently call the fields directly without using the object reference variable. That is the speciality of object initializer. You can initialize the values like this also. Now when I go and run, I have to call that print details method e to dot print details. When I'm done with this, run the program, you can observe, see it's printing 101 name and pro connect event. Instead of giving 101, I can give assign some other value like I'll assign 103 just to see. Okay, this is how we'll create a struct and we'll create an instant of it and we'll access the object access the values from them. Right now we'll jump back into the presentation. You can observe, as I said, the structures are similar like classes and just like classes they can have the following. There is private fields, public properties, constructors and methods and we saw a demo, beautiful demo of it in the Visual Studio. Now we'll come into the next slide. This is just the difference between the struct and the customer. You can observe everything that is field, property, uh, construct, constructor and the method. Everything are same, only the difference is the keywords that is class and this is a struct that's what the difference between the class and struct thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to ankpro training below